This next part of the evening is brought to you by McCullough Couriers and takes place at a catch weight of 167 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing SBG Cork and bringing into the cage a record of four wins and five defeats, presenting Dan Presenting SBG Nicks and bringing into the cage a record of five wins and three defeats. Presenting Nikolai Chiabu! The two most experienced fighters on the card this evening Dan O'Sullivan in the blue trunks of weight, Nikolai Chiabu in the black. Dan is four and five. Lost three in a row, but is coming off a brilliant performance and victory over Blaine McGill in May. Nikolai Shiopu nice, nice won three Dan. fights in a row. In fact, he won three fights in eight days recently. All by TKO. Three fights in eight days. Yeah, the Nationals, he won two over the course of two days. And then he won a week later. Cage conflict, so he's... Uh, back to winning ways now neither of these guys are afraid to fight it's clear yeah they're both finding finding home for these strikes Dan likes to apply pressure and he starts fast always has done Shiopu no stranger to a knock he likes to scrap Shiopu either finishes you or the fight goes to a decision and he loses that's been the pattern in his eight amateur bouts so far. All five wins, he's finished them. All three defeats, he's lost by decision. What a chin on both these guys. Both these guys have eaten huge shots early, early on. Yeah. Dan, for a guy who hits like that, surprisingly, he actually has no finishes just yet. So can't be too far away. He's a guy that carries a bit of power. A bit of ferocity, some bad intentions. Look at that left hand out of the southpaw stance. The right hook afterwards. Nikolai smiled. Nikolai smiled when he got hit with that. That was a trip. Fight's taking place at 76 kg, and Dan looks Beautiful the far double. bigger fighter in here. Did these guys always fight at this weight? Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. And um, yeah, Dan, is, he's displayed some really good pressure in the early goings in some of his fights, but found it difficult at times to maintain that over the three rounds. So He's got his knee guard in, Nikolai. Really good recovery from Nikolai Shiopu climbing into that high guard now. Will be able to be a threat from this position. Difficult when you're pressed down without the back of your head and neck against the fence. And Dan is using his forehead. We've seen this earlier on tonight using his forehead pressing his head against the fence yeah head pressure is a very valuable tool in the MMA fighters arsenal oh swims for the leg does Shiopu doesn't have a full bite on it just yet but causes O'Sullivan to disengage the up kick landed yeah you can, as I said earlier on them up kicks can be very dangerous nice right hand in the return over swing there by Shiopu these boys are both trying to end this fight neither of them want to see a decision tonight yeah they're getting after it for sure Who just slipped that shot from uh, from O'Sullivan there and managed Beautiful to slip. with a couple out of his own. Body lock. Yeah. Great first round. Yeah, all action for sure in the opening stanza. Yeah, they all give each other a good camp. Yeah, the pace of this first round was uh, pretty uh, exceptional. So let's hope the two guys can keep it up. It's been all action so far. Of course, Barry Kennedy earlier on with a great win from that team too. Absolutely. Wow. Big jumping knee attempt there by Shiopu. Nikolai is landing these strikes. He stung the nose now of O'Sullivan a couple of times. That looping right hand found a home. I think Shiopu is just getting his little read of the distance a little better here. Managing to slip some of these shots well. Tries to use that scarf hold to reverse O'Sullivan, which is a risky manoeuvre in MMA. He's done it every time. Yeah. 
that was a nice He's take used down. it very effectively for takedowns himself quite a lot over his past few fights. When he gets into that scarf hold half uh, sorry, yeah, half guard position or side control position, but Dan actually landed to manage in uh, managed to land in full mount there when he got that takedown. Yeah. We'll see what Shiopi can do. He's still holding on to the head of O'Sullivan, which is uh, probably not my number one defensive manoeuvre when someone has mount, but he swims underneath and tries to get it. It's like a great cage work. Tries to get like a kiss of the dragon or a reverse de la Hiva or something of that ilk. Finds himself with his hips smashed down to one side now. And Dan O'Sullivan applying this heavy pressure that we saw in that last bout against Blaine McGill. He said he's a physical specimen at this weight class. Those are heavy, annoying that shots to the side of the body. Nikola kind of wants the leg. He's gone for it a few times now. Yeah. Yeah, he looks to have a very aggressive jujitsu style. But uh, this ain't jujitsu, unfortunately. Sometimes you're as well off to try and just scramble to your feet. Do you think Dan is taking this round with all this top, um, top play? He's doing enough. He's landing yeah. enough damaging strikes here. Some of those to the body earlier were very impactful. And you don't necessarily win rounds just by control, but if you're no, it needs to be. It's effective strikes yeah. and an effective grappling. Yeah, that's it. Like yeah. if you're on top of someone, it's not the fact that you're on top of them is winning the round. It's what you're doing from there. Generally, you're you're in a position to land better shots than they are. So. You're at a, there's a lower percentage chance of you losing the round from there. But these are heavy impactful strikes while we're on the subject of impact. Sullivan making Shiopu pay. Are you trying to pass that guard? Or sorry, Dan's trying to pass that guard, but yeah. Oh, they're heavy strikes. If you're landing them big strikes, you may not need to. Those are massive straight rights down the bottom. A couple of them found a home. I heard, I heard you could hear his head hitting off the canvas. As McGregor said, bouncing the head off the canvas. Yeah. A big second round by Dan O'Sullivan. So here we go. Big third round. Two more bouts to come after this one on this <coughs> Premier FC 7 card. Oh, nice. Help him momentarily down and back to his feet, but he looks like he's wearing those first couple of rounds a little bit. A bit of sluggishness. Less pop in his shots there at the beginning of the third. Beautiful Sullivan looks down. like he's just getting going. Dan's gas tank is extremely impressive. Yeah. As I said, he had a couple of fights where he looked like he was maybe going too hard in the paint early on and wasn't able to maintain it, but he looks to be economizing and between his last fight and his fight tonight. I think um, stronger over the three rounds. I think Nikolai needs to leave go this kind of guillotine attempt or whatever he's going to tire out his arms yeah it's looking like it's uh, a little bit of a survival technique at the moment just holding on and limiting the damage more than threatening the finish at the same time it's not a nice pressure on your head from Dan he's you know you're yeah it'd be a shock now if Dan was to tap to something from here from I this don't position I don't think that would be the case anyway we're just in desperation mode a little bit. He can probably feel this fight might be just eking away from him a little bit. The gas tank starting to wilt. And O'Sullivan just coming at him relentlessly. Nicholas Corner telling him to use this to stand up or bridge to stop trying to get the submission. Dan's getting fed up of it now. There we go, he's yeah, out. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he popped the head out of there and he's... His arms are going to be shot after that. That was a long yeah. time to be holding down then. Yeah, it might have been just all he had left. It's been a relentless pace. The first round in particular was so fast that it was always going to cause a little bit of a, a wilt wow. later on in the bout for somebody. But Dan O'Sullivan, just when he gets the chance, landing with a venomous power... O'Sullivan's strikes are so heavy from the top. Yeah, and just short little bursts. One, two, three, and then shut the position down again. Making life miserable for Nikolai Shiopu going through this third. Into that mount, nice and high again. 
Shopu, out of desperation, trying to swim the legs inside to try and get O'Sullivan off him. He might even manage it here. He might even Showing good get flexibility there. Yeah, feet across the hips. And he does so, yeah, excellent. That single leg X guard. That reap, 50-50, oh. going with the up kicks. He also landed a... I think O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan is safe strike. here. He can even backstep O'Sullivan just to stay on top. If he's going to keep heavy on that right foot, he should be okay. Sullivan tries the little leg drag, tries to pass that leg across. Shopu cranking on the foot, but he doesn't have enough of a bite. Nothing on the Achilles there. And a strong finish from Dan O'Sullivan. Another win in the books, you would think. After three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this bout. 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision.